Good morning, today we will do a full face of my chopping block item, so if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. Let's start, I already primed with the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. I am missing some products, so I will be using some other things here and there, but that is primer. And the first item in my chopping block is this one. This is the Viv Modern Radiance Concealer. I have it in shade light one. I will uh, do a bit of this as foundation because I don't have other foundation in my chopping block. And lately I've been liking concealer as foundation just because I'm using less product. So let's just blend this one out with the sponge. And this is a bit too light for me right now as foundation. So I will use a bit more bronzer. The problem with this concealer is that it's just too cakey. It's too thick. And as you can see, it has a pretty good coverage and everything but it's just a bit too cakey to be a concealer so maybe i should use this one as foundation more often but i do have a bunch of foundations so i don't think this is better as a foundation than my other foundations so because of that i don't really see a point so i think i will declutter this one to my mom and she will maybe enjoy it a bit more than me. So that is done. I would say that this looks pretty good as foundation. So I will tell my mom to use it a bit like that as well. Let's try something else because I want to create a cream blush with these two. This is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte. And it says here that it is for eye, lip and cheek. So I want to mix this one with the tiniest bit of this one. This is the Juvia's Place Eye Primer and this will set pretty fast for a cheek product. So I want to see, but I'm a bit scared to use this one because it's a bright red on its own. So I will mix them on the back of my hand and that is probably a bad idea as well because it will stain my hand. That created the brightest of the brightest Barbie pink, so I'm hella scared, but I will just put them right there and fast, fast, fast. Let's blend it with the sponge. I don't like it. It looks like a bruise. And of course that stained, but yeah, not the best. So I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Let's set this face. I'm going to use this elf. Hello Glow Setting Powder. This is in the chopping block as well. This is a glowy powder. It's not very glowy, but I don't like it for some reason. It is too glowy for my taste, but I want to just try it today again, just to see on the whole face. It's for sure not my favorite. I will give this one to my mom as well. My mom is getting a lot of makeup, which is great, but it's just too, I don't even know how to describe it because it doesn't have shimmer, but it's just emphasizing my texture in here. That is what I feel like. I know that this is a favorite for a lot of people, but not for me. So two already decluttered products. It is what it is. Let's do some bronzer. This one, I feel like it will be the same story because this is a bit too dark for me. But now I have a 10, so let's see how this one looks. And this will again work very well for my mom because she has a bit of a darker complexion than mine. So I'm going to use this F36 brush from Sigma. It's a bit of a larger brush, so it will diffuse this one pretty nicely. But oh my God, this blush is so ugly. I really don't like it, but I'm going to apply a blush on top in a second and probably that will be better and this bronzer is pretty nice and this one has some some shiny specks in it again not as you can see here not um, shimmery or 
glittery but a bit shiny I don't like that so again not my favorite one let's use a bit of other blush I want actually to try this one so this is for sure not in my chopping block because this is brand new this is the Barbie collab with NYX and I bought this one actually when I saw the movie that was literally yesterday for me and I like the movie it was it was cute I'm gonna use this peach shade because I want to not add more bright pink so let's use this and this one has some shimmer in it so let's see I did like the movie it was not my absolutely favorite one but it was cute overall and Ryan Gosling for sure is doing is doing the most funny things in the movie so I think he was carrying the movie a bit but overall it was a nice movie but like I said not my absolutely favorite one this looks better great let's use the highlighter as well because I don't have that and let's see if this is too dark for me because it seems like that okay it's not too dark for me right now but it's just a bit it's a bit glittery for my taste this palette for sure saved the cheeks because they were looking a mess but now it looks wearable at least so for now i do enjoy this one but it was the first impression so i'm gonna do brows off camera because i don't have anything in that category and i will line the lips i bought a new shade of the line loud lip liner and this is in total bowler i will list down below everything that i am using today so i will do this one as well and be right back okay brows are done and lip liner i look kind of crazy without lipstick so let's apply a bit of this i am getting angry just seeing it because i hate it this is the everlasting hyper light liquid lipstick in the shade calitrix 16 let's shake this one a bit let's spray a bit as well maybe this time it will be a bit better but i hate it usually it's very lightweight but it's so patchy so let me take a deep breath and apply a thin layer and we will not talk through this because otherwise it will be very patchy not just patchy lips are done and they don't look the worst right now but i know in a second they will feel so so dry and they will get patchy in like two hours if not now and they will peel a bit as well if i am eating something so my mom is getting another product i don't know if she will like this one but i will give it to her just for her to try something new and we will see so i want to apply the juvia's place eye prep eye primer and let's shake this one pretty well because it's very oily usually this eye primer is a good one so i do recommend it to you if you like liquidy primers i just prefer the sigma one so i always want to reach for that one let's do an eye look as well i have these two palettes in my chopping block it is the ila masca rainbow palette and the sigma untamed i am annoyed about this palette and when i see it i always want to use it but i don't like it so i'm just kind of forcing myself to use it i feel guilty that i own it and i'm not using it so let's start i'm gonna use the shade boho this one i don't even know what i look i want to do so let's just wing it i really like a mustardy shade i put a bit of this shade on the lower lash as well and i'm blending with a clean brush because this palette doesn't have a transition for me i'm using this orange from the ilamasca palette i will keep this palette because i think it will be useful from time to time and as well i don't know anybody that would use a full rainbow palette because i am the most adventurous when it comes to eyeshadows from the people that i know so i will keep this one 
Okay, that is enough blending. Let's apply this yellow in the inner corner. I hope it is light enough because it is kind of dark, but it's okay. Let's apply a bit of the highlighter on top from the palette. My face looks kind of sweaty. That is the thing with the elf with the elf powder. It is for people with uh, dry skin. I think that is the problem. I have an oilier T-zone, so I prefer a very mattifying powder for my under eyes and my um, forehead. So that is done for now with the eye look. Let's apply a shimmer on top. What shade do I want to use? Probably the hustle shade, right? This one. Do I want to use the blue? Let's actually use the blue because I think I used it only once in my life. So let's just use it. Why not? I'm gonna spray my finger and just put it in here. And I hate this look. Maybe I'm not skilled enough for this palette. I don't have any idea what is the problem with this because usually I can do a orange and blue shadow even though they don't work really well together they turn muddy if you are blending them too much but usually I can do a look like that but today is not the day do I want to do a green wing and just don't care about it so let's do a green wing why not what can go wrong <laughs> And this will probably expire soon, so I don't feel really comfortable having this around my eyes. So I will declutter this one pretty soon and the red one from Danessa Myricks as well. And they are too pricey for me to justify buying them because I'm using them like five times per year. So not enough usage to justify this price point just don't ask me anything about this just don't i feel like a child who is playing with uh, her mother's makeup and decided to do a cleopatra's look uh, that is what i feel it's something else today i today i didn't know how to do makeup <laughs> that is the end of everything so I don't know, I hated a look and then I did a wing and then I decided to do a double wing and then I put the inner corner thing and then I put some eyeshadow on top of it because I wanted to stay a long time on my eyes. I just want to <laughs> wash this off. I put a bit of mascara as well, but I'm not, I'm not putting any lashes on this because I just want to wash it off, really. And this is the video, I hope you liked it. It was all over the place, but it is what it is. So if you liked it and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like, and I will see you next time.